There's no defined path that you have to follow if you want to make more money. In fact, the first billionaire that I ever met was a guy that built his business selling rocks. I was studying for the medical college admission test when I was in college at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. And I was in the library pretty much every day reading my books, trying to figure out how do I get into medical school, which I did not do, obviously. But I was in the library every day and then a little while into it, I started to see this guy sit next to me and he was over there on the computer doing his own thing. And eventually, a few days into it, we started talking. And he told me that he was in town looking to buy some real estate projects. He was from California. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then we kind of like became good friends in a couple of days, just talking about random stuff. And then he was showing me a picture on, on his computer. And he's like, what do you think of this? It was a plane. I was like, that's really cool. He's like, I'm thinking about buying this one. And I looked at him and I was like, what are you talking about? He was like, yeah, I have this plane. I'm kind of getting bored of it, but I want to buy a second plane, something a little bit bigger. And he was showing me the second plane that he was thinking about buying. So naturally now I got a little bit more curious. And I asked him, you know, what do you do? He said, oh, well, you know, I don't really do much now. I just invest in real estate. Uh, I built this business, this rock business that he sold for over a billion dollars. And that got me curious because I never heard of anybody making money selling rocks besides that one guy, Gary Dahl, who built a business selling pet rocks and who made millions of dollars selling the pet rock. So I started asking him more questions. What do you mean selling rocks? And apparently... This guy who was sitting next to me in the library buying real estate in an arbor built this business selling gravel, rocks, and stones. And then he continued to grow and became the largest distributor of rocks, gravel, and stones in the entire Midwest. And his business grew so big that now he's able to buy planes, invest in real estate around the country, and live his life the way he wants. There's no set path to how you can make more money. There's an unlimited number of ways to make money. Somebody became rich creating pens. Somebody became rich building the ink inside of pens. Somebody became rich building microphones. Somebody became rich building cameras. Somebody became rich being behind the camera. Somebody became rich editing the stuff that's on camera. There's no set way to do that. And in today's day and age, I know it's easy to get confused where people associate more followers with more money, that if I want to make more money, I just have to have more followers. And that is a correlation, but not necessarily a causation. And it's funny because I was having a conversation with a friend of mine who was trying to start a business and he was asking about different businesses that people do. And another friend of mine, so I was, one of my friends is an engineer trying to start a business. Another one of my friends has a very successful business, but a very small social media presence. So the engineer then starts asking about this other business and how this other business is doing. Now, this other business has a very small social media presence, but it's doing millions and millions of dollars a year in sales. And that's where my engineer friend kind of lost his mind. What are you talking about? How can somebody with 5,000 Instagram followers be making millions of dollars a year? I thought you needed Instagram followers in order to make money. And Instagram followers... YouTube followers, TikTok followers can help you make money, but you don't necessarily need the quote unquote followers in order to make money. What you need is an audience, you need customers, you need distribution, but there isn't a direct need for social media followers. Now, what does this mean? Does this mean you shouldn't be on social media? No, social media can accelerate the sales that you have. Social media is so valuable to grow the distribution, to improve your media presence, to grow how much money you can make. But there's so many ways to earn more money. And now if your goal is to earn more money, the real question is what kind of value can you provide? What service can you provide somebody else? How can you help somebody else? And when you can solve that problem, the next question is how can you scale what you do? Because if you can't scale it, there's going to be a cap and a limit to how much money you can earn. But if you can figure out how to build processes and systems to scale it, now you have the ability to earn more money. There was a video that I saw, I think it was on TikTok or Instagram the other day. And it was a guy walking around asking people, can you make a better burger than McDonald's? And everybody said, yeah, I can make a better hamburger than McDonald's. And they said, well, how come you can't make more money than McDonald's? And this is where many times people assume that just because I have a better product, I got a better burger, that you should be able to make more money. But the difference between 
that product. And what McDonald's does is that McDonald's has built operations. They've built systems that has allowed their business to scale. Scaling now is where the money comes in from a business. You got to have some sort of value, some sort of product, some sort of service that you can offer people that people are willing to pay for. The next thing is, how can you make this thing scalable? Which means something that you can teach other people to do, or you can build a product that doesn't necessarily rely on you to build it. If you can start to build something scalable and it's something valuable, now you have real potential to make unlimited amounts of money. And now the question is, how do you grow it? Because ultimately, if you want to make more money, if you want to create your own product, if you want to create your own side hustle, if you want to build your own business, there are two things you need. You got to have the product and then you got to have the customers, period. If you have a product that people are willing to pay for, now you got a business. If you have a product, but no one's willing to pay for it, you don't have a business. If you have customers, but no product, like you have a social media following, but no product, you don't have a business. So this is right now, if you want to be able to maximize how much money you can make, you just got to fill in the blanks. What is this product that you can provide? How do you get the customers? And then how do you scale it? Period. If you can solve that problem, you will have the ability to make more money. If you can't solve that problem, you will not be able to make more money. And so now the question is, how do you build that product? What is the service or value that you can provide? Now look around you. What are you good at? What do you like doing and what problems can you solve in the world? Everybody has problems in the world. You have problems. I have problems. Everyone has things that they deal with where we wish something was a little bit more convenient. We wish something was easier. We wish there was a product there to help us with something. Now, your job is to figure out what is that thing? How can you make it easier and better? Then, once you create that product, the question is, is it scalable? Is it growable without necessarily you? If it requires you, you're going to have a hard time scaling. But if you could do something that doesn't necessarily rely on you, well, now you have the ability to scale. For example, let's say you're a good designer, but your designs are solely based off of your artistic talent as opposed to some operations or plans of how do you design images. If it's designs based off of only what's inside of your brain and you cannot teach somebody else, you're never going to be able to scale it. The maximum amount of money you're going to make is limited to whatever output that you can do. But now if you can come up with a system of how to design, number one, you meet with the company and you ask them these 10 questions. Number two, you take these 10 questions, the survey that they answered, and then you go through this systematic formula that you created. Number three, you build colors off of this formula that you created. Number four, you go through processes to start building designs based off of that. Number five, you have a brainstorming session with the team. Number six, three people go and make designs together. Number seven, now when you guys make the designs together, your team comes together to come up with the best design. They vote on it and then they create a new design. Number eight, you present it to the client. Number nine, you make feedback. And number 10, you present and build the final product. If you can build systems like that, now you have built something scalable. Now the question, once you have the product, is how do you get the customers? Now this is another art. How do you get the customers? Well, social media is the most accessible way to do that today. Because if now you can show the world that you have this design business. You show people how to design. You show people the designs that you're doing and potential customers see it. Well, now some of those people might actually call your office. They might call you. They might email you saying, hey, could you design me something? Can you build me something? So social media makes that distribution part by finding the custom customers part much more accessible. If you don't want to do social media, well, then you can also do paid advertisements. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, nowadays, you know, the commercial, the traditional advertising is dying because people are moving on to the digital advertising. But this is where now you can incorporate different ways of trying to find customers. You can get customers through word of mouth. People who use your service, give them a bonus, give them a referral commission check, give them a discount on the future orders if they bring you another customer. You can do billboard advertising. You can run commercials on TV. You can do radio advertisements. You can buy posters on buses. There's an unlimited number of ways to find the customers. But the question is, what's going to be the way that's going to produce a profitable result for you and that's going to drive you the correct customers? But at the end of the day, the first thing that you got to figure out is how can you provide value to somebody else? How can you increase somebody's production, lifestyle, convenience, 
help reduce their pain, reduce the anxiety, reduce something, help something, give some value to somebody, and then turn that into something that's scalable, and then find the customers to buy it. And if you can do that, now you have a real business. And the interesting thing about being alive in today's generation is you can even do it in reverse now. You can find the customers first and then create the product after. I built my brand here on the Minority Mindset channel. I started this channel on accident. My goal wasn't to build a business here on Minority Mindset. I was busy building a different business. I created content here as a way to help other people learn the things and not get screwed over the way that I was. Well, my channel started to grow. And as my channel started to grow, I started to spend more time here on the Minority Mindset channel and less time in the business that I was running. It was a sock business. And then as the channel started to grow, that was when the entrepreneur in me started to come back out because I'm not a content creator at heart. I'm an entrepreneur at heart. And that's when I then created Briefs Media as a way to help provide financial news and education to starting off my viewers here on the Minority Mindset. Now, no one's here required to grow to Briefs Media. No one's here is required to go and sign up for Market Briefs, my free financial newsletter. No one here is required to do anything in Briefs Media, but I can talk about my company, Briefs Media, here, and if somebody's interested, they can go there. So now I created a free funnel for me to talk about my business, and I get customers, clients, readers from the audience that I've built. Now, Market Briefs is a free financial newsletter that I created. You can see this plug right here that I created to help investors like you stay up to date on what's happening in the top finance and business news. It's completely free. You can read Market Briefs in less than five minutes every morning. And if you haven't joined yet, well, I highly recommend you do so. You can join Market Briefs by going to briefs.co slash market. That's briefs.co slash market. And I'll also put the link for you down in the description below. But this is where now the question is, how do you find the customers? And how do you get the product? Nowadays, you can create the customers first. You can build the audience first and then build the product second. Or if you already have a product idea, you can work to build the product while also trying to get the customers. But the advantage of social media is you have the ability to start getting customers without having to spend money in advertising because you can have the best product in the world. But if nobody knows about it, it doesn't do you any good. Which then the next problem is, if you create a good product, how do you get people to know about it? And unless you have deep pockets, unless you go out and raise money, unless you have raised debt or venture capital, it could be very difficult for you to go out and get people to hear about your product and go to your website and buy your stuff. But if you can build the audience, well, now you have people that are already there, ready to buy, sometimes already willing to buy. I mean, it was kind of funny when I first started this channel, the reason why I realized, well, there's a lot of potential here was people would leave comments on my videos. This is in the early days before I had 100,000 subscribers. People would leave me comments saying, Jaspreet, can you please create some class? Can you please create some sort of coaching? I want to give you my credit card. These were some of the comments that I was receiving. And that's when I realized, whoa, there's actual potential here. And the question now is, again, what product? What are the customers? How do you combine these two? Because that's what's going to allow you to scale how much money you're making. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love. And while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you got to do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching. And as always, keep hustling.